Cab over trucks are a special kind that was famous in the United States, but they are almost gone from the country now, and there's a good reason. Today, we will discuss why the United States quit making cab over trucks. Imagine driving down the open road in a sleek, powerful truck that gets people's attention at every stoplight. You can feel the wind in your hair, the power in your hands, and everyone's respect. But what if I told you that the truck of your dreams could have been swapped out for one that wasn't as stylish and didn't work either? This is the story of how one of America's most famous truck designs was replaced by a less impressive one and why it will blow your mind. Before we can figure out why cab over trucks lost popularity, we must know what they are. The cab of a cab over truck, also called a cab over engine truck, sits above the engine. This shape makes the truck shorter overall, making driving easier in small places. Cab over trucks were trendy in cities where streets and alleyways were narrow and hard to drive through. In the 1960s and 1970s, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration started making rules about truck safety. As a result, cab over truck makers had to meet new standards for crash protection in sight. Because of these rules, cab over trucks eventually became less popular in the United States. By putting the cab on top of the engine, cab over trucks were made to have more room for goods and be easier to turn. This design made them shorter overall and gave them a tighter turning radius which made them popular with truck drivers who had to drive through small city streets or busy loading docks. But as safety rules got stricter, cab over trucks were found to be lacking in several important ways. Visibility was one of the main issues. Cab over trucks had lower hoods, which made it hard for the driver to see what was coming up ahead on the road. This made it harder for drivers to see people on the street and other cars, which made crashes more likely. In answer, the NHTSA made cab over trucks have a certain length of the hood and raise the height of the cab to make it easier to see. Do you agree with the reasons? Let's see more of it to learn more about it. Crash safety was another worry. Accidents often caused cab over trucks to jackknife, which put the driver and other drivers in danger. The NHTSA made new crash safety rules to fix this problem, like making cars stronger and framed stronger. It was also found that cab over trucks were less stable than other trucks, which could cause them to tip over in high winds or when making quick moves. The NHTSA made makers use stability control systems and other safety features to make cars more stable. Even though these rules were meant to make things safer, they made it more complex and more expensive to make cab over trucks. Many truck companies chose to stop making cab over trucks altogether and instead focus on traditional truck designs that were easy to change to meet the new safety standards. Besides safety issues, there were other reasons why cab over trucks became less common in the United States. One of the most significant changes was the move towards longer combination trucks, which have a tractor and two or more trailers. LCVs are better for long distance shipping because they can carry more goods with fewer cars. LCVs need longer trucks that are hard to steer with a cab over design. Another big reason cab over trucks lost fame was how uncomfortable they were driving. The driver's cab of cab over trucks is right above the engine, which can make for a bumpy and noisy ride. During long trips, the noise and vibrations from the engine can be incredibly annoying. This can make the driver tired and uncomfortable. The cab over design often makes it small and narrow making it hard for drivers to move around and maintain a good stance while driving. Over time, this can make the driver uncomfortable or hurt, making cab over trucks less attractive. Also, the small room inside the cab can make it harder to add perks and features that drivers have come to expect in modern trucks. Because there was little room in the cab, many cab over trucks didn't have store space, comfy seats, and climate control systems that drivers need to make long trips more pleasant. While traditional cab designs like the standard truck cab give drivers a roomier and more comfortable workplace. With movable seats, climate control, and more storage room, these cabs are made to be more comfortable to use. This makes them more appealing to people who drive for long periods. Because of this, truck makers are putting more effort into making trucks that give drivers more comfort and convenience. This has caused cab over trucks to become less popular because it's harder for makers to meet drivers' changing needs and demands with this design. Another important reason for the fall of cab over trucks was that people didn't like them very much. Cab over trucks were made for business use and had a unique look, making them less popular with people who wanted a more standard pickup truck. Cab over trucks stood out because of their unique design, but people who liked the more traditional look of a pickup truck were less likely to buy them. Also, it was often more expensive to make cab over trucks than regular trucks, which made them less competitive in the market. 
Because of their unique form, cab over trucks needed more technical and manufacturing know-how, making them more expensive. Also, cab over trucks needed parts that were usually more expensive than regular ones. Because of this, cab over trucks were usually more expensive than other trucks, making them more challenging for people to buy. Well, now are you convinced by America's decision? People preferred something other than cab over trucks because they thought they were mostly made for business use. Because of their unique form, cab over trucks were great for business use, but customers liked them less because they thought they were only for business fleets. People often liked the more traditional look of a pickup truck because they thought it was more flexible and could be used for business and personal purposes. People also thought cab over trucks were less comfy than regular trucks, making them less appealing to buyers. The driver of cab over trucks had to sit on top of the engine, which made the ride rougher and louder. Also the cabs of cab over trucks were often small and tight, which made long trips difficult for the drivers. People were more likely to buy a traditional truck with a more relaxing ride and a roomier, more comfortable cab. As was already said, cab over trucks went out of style because people didn't like them. Cab over trucks look different from regular pickup trucks because of their design, which can make them seem less appealing to some buyers. The driver sits on top of the engine in a cab over truck, making the truck look smaller and less attractive than a standard pickup truck with a separate hood and cab. Most of the time, cab over trucks were used for business, like transport or building, and not for personal use. This made them less appealing to people who wanted a vehicle that could be a family car and a personal truck for things like camping and off-roading. Cab over trucks also usually had a trailer suitable for moving things, but could be more valid for daily use. In the past few years, there has been some talk about bringing cab over trucks back to the US. Some companies have made new cab over models that meet current safety standards and are made to make driving more comfortable. But the market for cab over trucks is still pretty small, and it's still being determined if they will ever be popular again in the US. In the United States, cab over trucks went out of style because of safety issues, driving comfort, and a need for customer interest. Cab over trucks used to be the norm in the trucking business, but they needed help to keep up with changes in safety rules and customer tastes. But in other parts of the world, cab over trucks are still popular because they are easy to drive and carry big loads in tight areas. Even though cab over trucks are becoming less common in the United States, their history continues in the memories of trucking fans and people working in the business. The cab over truck was a unique and famous part of American trucking history and significantly affected the business. Even though cab over trucks aren't as standard on American roads as they used to be, those who remember them fondly will always have a special place in their hearts. Read with emotion. Stay in touch with us so we can bring you more videos like this one that you love.